And what are you making for us here? So I have got the most wonderful Monday night dinner for you. It is... What is it? It's fish wraps. With... <laughs> God. Fish wraps with chorizo mm. and pimole. Oh, it looks so, like, posh when I'm looking at this in here. But you're saying you make this from... 20 minutes. You open your freezer, you bung it into the oven, it's done okay. in 20 minutes. And it's not posh at all, look, because I'm actually showing you how to make a really quick homemade fish finger using white fish here, cod, yeah. haddock. It's going in from the flour into the egg and notice I've switched my hands so I don't get gooey, claggy hands. Uh -huh. Back into breadcrumbs, switched hand again. So it's like get... dry on one side. Dry hand, hands. wet hand. Oh, got it. And there you go. So you can, if you want, to very easily make your own uh -huh. homemade fish fingers. However, should I not want to do that? And you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Do I do that all the time? No. I'm very happy with buying supermarket bought. And remember, there's such a range you can get now. You can get your... Captains. Yeah, captains, fish fingers. You can also get gorgeous homemade goujons. So don't worry if you don't want to do it this I way. I understand. So if you're doing it from frozen, which you can do, literally take the fish out of the freezer onto an um, oven, oven tray and throw in. Um, chorizo halfway through cooking, but because these are from fresh, I'm going to put the chorizo in now. So if they, if you weren't making those ones, you say that that they're you know all the way through. Yes. But with the ones from the freezer, then that's halfway through the cooking. Yes. So normally from frozen, the fish finger, depending on the size, will take about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So bung it in for 10 minutes, flip them over, then add your chorizo okay. and let it cook for another 10 minutes, mm. and you should end up with something. That looks a bit like this. And so all those smoky flavours go into the fish. Yes, exactly. It's really nice. And it's just it's an easy way to make a lot of flavour without a lot of washing up because everything is just in one tray. Wow. And in the last couple of minutes of that fish and that chorizo crisping up and cooking, I've just bung my tortilla wraps in to heat up like that. So okay. easy. And, you know, we're not bothering with the hob and the oven. It's literally just an oven. It's so easy. Mm. The other thing coming from our freezer are our glorious frozen peas. Whose freezer does not have frozen peas? Oh, well, um, and the icy if it doesn't, of it. we can't be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, like a guacamole. I made mm. this, or I talked about making this the last time I cooked for you both, and mm -hmm. you were so enthused by it. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how I make it. So it's just a mug of peas. Frozen peas that I've just le left out at room temperature just to sort of frost a little bit. Mm. I've got a quarter of an onion here, diced red onion, garlic here, and a bit of lime juice. Now, if you wanted to, you can also add chilies to this as well. Give that a good mix. Now, if you well, do, do you sort of mash the peas down a little bit. You can mash the peas down. And this is, you know, like with guacamole, you can have your own consistency. Some people like it like a baby puree. Uh -huh. Not me. I like a bit of texture. So this is quite textury. And, but if you could bung it into a food processor and blitz it so it's a lot smoother. Oh, OK. But I like a bit of bite, particularly with the other flavours and the other bits yeah. going on in here. It's has, really Has tasty. the one we've got... There's a little bit of chilli in the one we've got, I think, is there? No, so that's my secret ingredient. Oh, what's that? So let me show you. This is the flavour maker. Yeah. So pretty much all of the other ingredients, bar the chorizo you may not have lying around your fridge, you have mayonnaise in your fridge or your freezer, this is the magic ingredient, chipotle paste. Oh, okay. uh, so this is just stunning. So it adds a smokiness, it gives it a bit of a Mexican feel, a lovely oh, vibe, and a lovely bit of heat. Um, now, I put a bowl away that I actually need. Um, so for this, all I'm doing, gorgeous, squeezy mayonnaise from a supermarket. You don't have to make your own. There's nothing wrong with buying convenient stuff in the supermarket at all. And about two to four teaspoons of chipotle paste going in there. Oh, right. It has got a bit of a kick, so mm. you can bring down, you know, you can make it half, of, half the amount if you wish. And that is going to give you so much gorgeous flavour. And as a tip, generally, if you're wanting to make this like a jerk version, use jerk paste with the mayonnaise. So that's going to go in the wrap, then? This is the base of our wrap, so this right. is giving you that gorgeous... Ah, OK. ..like that. And I'm quite generous with the amount I put in, because I'm I think in. nobody wants a dry wrap. i elegant with a fork, but now I'm just going to Oh, go. my God, you really are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. And then a couple of these fish fingers and Yummy. the chorizo. So there's so much gorgeous flavour happening mm -hmm. in here. That and is really good. Also going to add some sliced tomatoes in here. And then a bit of our pea mole. Or as I said to you, Holly, some people call this pica mole. But it sounds like something's going to jump out and scare you with pica mole. What does pica mole mean? It sounds like, like Pokemon's eat. Yeah, exactly. I'm not quite sure why that car has got... Oh, maybe like guacamole. Pica mole. Guacamole. Mm. 
No. <laughs> well, I don't know the difference between a guac and a peak. No. It's a guacamole, pea. really. Pimole. Pea camole. It's yeah. like peas. Is, yeah. it, is that what it is? It's just yeah. pea. It's just That's another it way is. for pea camole. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I see. It's just pimole. Pimole makes just being posh. Pimo is, yeah. What is it? Well, it's mushy peas. It's mushy peas. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's basically fish and chips <clears throat> in a wrap, really. Yes. Isn't it? Well done. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Not though. pot That's at all. That's really Thank delicious. You. Thank you. Absolutely You're lovely. Welcome. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.